Oh, mm, straight lines. Yes. Hey everyone, welcome back to the best game in the world and it's finally the time again where Bloxburg updated and we're now on version 0.8.7 and there's quite a few changes here. So first, let's check out the main menu. So we have a new button right here. Well, it's been here for a while, but it's it's kind of new, isn't it? So you can click this question mark and then there's some questions that you can uh, ask the help center for, for example, how to play and then there's some info and now I need to wait 10 seconds to continue this. But yeah, you can read some stuff stuff and, and it's more like a frequently asked question thing because the help center was a bit overwhelmed with questions at times so this is quite nice to see here and then you can also click Bloxburg support and uh, this is a test that I <laughs> did I got scammed a refund um, don't reply this is a test and then if you click play there's a new menu right here so it's quite nice actually you can see more of your plots I do have quite a few plots there's one thing though that I miss here and that is the ability to move your plots up to another place because I kind of want to move some plots to like the, the front right here because this is an old building and I don't know just want to move some stuff around but I definitely do like this menu right here. Then going into build mode there is some new items that we can play around with so these are all from the previous update but now we also have a commercial uh, rack that you can play so if you have a restaurant that's definitely a nice thing to have. We also have a pro chef oven and then the large commercial oven but for the other things stuff I'm gonna go into the kitchens so going into cabinets you now have tall modern microwave cabinets and you also have tall modern oven cabinets and what you can do with these is you can place ovens inside them which is something that people have been asking for for a very very long time <laughs> So for example, we have the Pro Chef oven, we can put that in there. And then we also have a microwave, we have a new microwave, the modern microwave. So finally, we can have another type of microwave, which I'm very happy about. And that one you can place in here, and as you can see, it connects to the edges. So it's all nice and smooth. But you can also use the Pro Chef oven on the ground, of course. And no, you cannot place the normal oven inside here. I just tried that and it didn't work. What does work, however, is taking the old microwave, the cheaper version of the newer microwave that we have here. You can also put that in your cabinets just like that. Well, yeah, made it look a little hard there, but it's actually quite easy to do. And then, of course, if you want, you can just place your microwaves anywhere you want, basically, as well. So if I just want to put that in there, I can do that. If I want to put that on a counter, I can do that as well. Very, very nice stuff to see. But now on to the main attraction of this update. Definitely the build mode section. We have a lot of new stuff in here, and it's all to do with fences and fence gates. So we got some new fences right here. We have the barbed wire, so this is quite nice. You can have your own little prison right here. I wonder if you get hurt if you touch them. Ooh. It's really dark. I should have placed a light. I thought it was day. No, you do not get hurt if you touch them. That would have been such a nice detail to get hurt if you touch the barbed wire fence. <laughs> and we also got some new lock fence. But I feel like that's something we already had. We did have a lot of lock fences, but it's nice to see that in game. And then we also have fence gates now. So you can place them basically anywhere on the fence that you like. Doesn't matter what kind of fence you have. Then we have the picket fence. I love this one. This is just such a classic and it's really good to finally have something like this in game. And then this one, I'm probably gonna use inside more than I do outside but this is a glass railing fence very nice for modern houses and you can just basically do anything with these you can make your own little pet store if you want so if you close this off and you make a little fake doggy or something like that you can just uh, have your own little pet shop if you know what I mean so I guess it's finally time to place a fence Let, let's just uh, cross the entire plot right here oh mm, straight lines Yes. And going back into the fence gate, so we have the small fence gate right here. This will work perfect with the wooden fence. Actually, I'm just gonna place uh, every type of fence we have that I think has a fence door, and then we can continue from there. Oh, and I forgot about one of the new fences. We also now have, no, we, this is not a new fence. This is just a new ID we, we have for this fence because we already had that one. So let's go back into fence gates now. And we have these small farm railings, so these match exactly. Ah, this is so nice to see. And then we have the double fence. And we also have that for the log railing. 
and the chain link fence right here. So you can uh, definitely do that here as well. But you can also add them to other stuff. They won't work on the lower fences. They only work on the higher fences. So for the lower fences, you need to pick a lower gate. And then this is kind of invisible, which I quite like, to be honest. Then we have this. This would be nice for role plays. Like if you role play that you have a baby and you can put this in front of the stairs, you know what I mean? Like the basic railing that you can just put in front of the stairs. Well, would be nice for role plays just to have that extra security to keep your uh, kids away from going upstairs. Now, this is huge. Um, let me actually copy this and I'm going to place a bigger fence because this is absolutely huge. This is a gate that you can use for your driveway. I wonder if you put an automatic door sensor on it, will it work? Oh, you can actually put it and it goes onto the side. Okay, so that is really nice to see. So do I still have some big door sensors? No, I only have the smaller ones. But as you can see, it definitely does work. I wonder if you need one or two. Okay, so one will do the trick. This door, very classic as well. And then this, this hedge, gateway i love so much like you can make your own fairy tale little garden it is so cute i'm definitely gonna be using this i think and we also have a wide hedge doorway so uh let's just place that right here i made a little hopscotch right here then <laughs> there's a farm driveway fence kind of like this one we have the modern panel gates so i think i got most of them on display so the first one is this one right here and then you have this i think they all open the same way so this is the double one then we have the chain link okay and then we had the invisible one right here yeah definitely love the invisible one because if it closes you can barely see it's like a door and I, I quite like this one then the gates right here oh yes i added the automatic door sensor so if you come over here with your car the gate will open and you can drive all the way to your house so you don't really need a garage you can just use your driveway or you can use boat whatever you want but this is a nice addition to the game you guys oh and this one is a sliding one. Oh my goodness i love that one so much so it slides and it looks really modern you will need a lot of space for this one but it looks amazing though then this will be amazing for mansions i am definitely making my plot one big mess right here then i think this is a sliding one as well yes this one slides open as well so this is also more for mansions you can lock people in here if you want to so like slide the other way and just lock people in i guess oh this is what i'm gonna do with the game now <laughs> and then this one opens as well but it looks really modern and I quite like it as well. So yes, there is a definitely a lot of new stuff going on with the fences and the fence gates. We got a lot more than I was expecting. Like, if there were gonna be some fence gates, I thought it was gonna be like two or three doors, but this is the whole bunch that we got going on right here, and it's quite a bit. Then another addition to the game is something in build mode as well, and that is the hollow mansard roof. I really hope they do it with other roofs as well. So if you place a mansard roof, or a hollow mansard roof in this case, I need to find the straight line so that I don't mess this up. You can uh, just drag that and upscale that a little bit. And as you can see under here, it is hollow, which is perfect to build houses under a roof because if you do some effort, you can also make little chapels like this and just have um, slanted roofs on the upstairs of your house. And I think this is really cozy to build in. One thing I don't really like is that you have to go inside here to actually see what's going on so you can't really look inside it from above but you definitely uh, have slanted roofs now so that is a quite a nice addition just I don't know it's it's gonna be quite hard to actually build inside it then another quite exciting thing for people who like to have raised porches and stuff like that you can now if you go and place a door let me just uh, pick a random door right here for example nah this is this is too high up there so for example if you have this door it is a fixed height but you can also change it to variable height which means that you can place a door way up here and then for example go into basement go back to roof place your roof manually as you can see but this, this is a really really bad execution and i should spend more time on this but you know what i mean like if you have raised porches and stuff you can definitely use this and um 
just in case make a lower living room for example here place your kitchen here you could definitely do a lot of stuff with this now and it's quite nice to see that we can finally do that as well and then going back into doors so let me place another wall so you know how we have these doors and people quite like to use them but they're always see-through and every time you place them people can just look through them we now have new modern doors that are solid and people cannot just go and look through them so if you want to use that as a front door you can do that now which is also a nice addition to the game of course so these are all the new doors we have so you cannot look through them they are more private to use like in bedrooms or bathrooms or even as a front door and now you can also change the color of your painting so let me just place a large painting right here and I for example want a uh, cat in my painting but I want the cat to match my furniture so um, let's just look here for a cat yes this is the most perfect cat I have ever seen if it loads in that would be amazing it it does not load in so let's just <laughs> use that image thank you Roblox and you can now change the color of your painting to match your interior so as you can see you can basically pick any color now and it just makes it a bit orangey or a bit greenish um, like neon green if that really fits your environment you can just change the pictures to however you want to now I really want to add another picture in here because this one is quite dark it's definitely gonna work better with a lighter picture finally found a lighter picture so let's say you got these uh, cacti right here so uh, if I just paint it white wait I'm painting the sides now so if I just paint it white it will be in the normal color that I used it from but you can for example give it a blue glow or a neon blue glow some red if that really fits your environment some pinks so I uh, definitely like most of these so like the background changes a little bit quite quite in love with them and there is one more thing that I have to show you so let me just quickly make a cake so if you now go to your oven and you put your cake or whatever you are baking in the oven, you can just walk around and wait for your cake to be done. You can do other things. You don't really have to wait in your kitchen until your cake is finally done cooking. Like you can just uh, have some fun and talk to your friends, host a party, whatever you want to do. Let's see if there's a way to see if my cake is done. No, I cannot take it out just yet. Okay, so I think my cake is done because if I click my oven now, it says take and I can now take out my cake and I would just need to garnish and finish the cake up of course and there we have it our cake we didn't have to wait close by the oven for so yes definitely nice additions to the game so let's quickly recap what's been added to the game because there's quite a lot of stuff that I talked about so we got some new fences right here as you can see we got the glass fence the white picket fence the barbed wire fence and then the lock fence right here and kitchens you now can place microwaves and ovens inside the new cabinets and they will nicely snap onto your cabinets which make it look very smooth there's new paintings and you can change uh, the color of them to any color that you like or fits your environment when cooking you can now walk away this is a very nice thing there's hollow mansard roofs to build um, slanted roofs on your second story or first story or wh wherever and then there's quite a few new fence gates which we went over definitely did not expect this much to happen there's driveway gates as well there's sliding ones there's ones with doors just everything that you can wish for then there's also an ability to place a doors um, on different heights so if you have a porch or whatever you can do that now and then we have these new doors which you can't see through anymore which is also nice to have some privacy in some rooms <laughs> so that was it for today guys let me know what you think of this update i'm glad we had this update but it's not my most favorite one but definitely some nice stuff that we can see in here and i forgot to mention these new things here as well you can use this to cook uh stuff as well of course but anyways yeah so let me know um what you think of this update do you really like this update is it something you expected or gonna use um, I'm gonna use this update not my most favorite one but definitely would miss it if we didn't have any fence gates or some sort of fence gates and it's definitely something that has been requested a lot so it was something that just needed to be added to the game and we finally have it so I'm quite happy with that and I did not expect this much to be added as well so that was it for today thank you so much for watching hit that like button and please subscribe